Okay, so today we're checking out the Cremona um, NG1 um, acoustic pickup, piezo pickup for um, classical or flamenco guitar. And the cool thing about this pickup, and the reason I wanted to review it, is that the pickup goes underneath the strings behind the saddle. The saddle is the white part that goes across that makes contact with the strings. Most piezo pickups are underneath the saddle, which messes up the sound transfer from the strings to the saddle to the guitar. This one goes behind, so it shouldn't affect the sound of the guitar at all. So I'm very interested in trying this out. It's a great solution to electronics on the instrument. But let's check this out. Here's the box. Pretty minimal instructions. What's this? Just a sticker or something? Okay, nice long cable. Ooh, look at this. So simple. Just a piece of wood. So just a piece of wood essentially with a little sensor, I guess, electronic sensor there. Very cool. So simple, very elegant looking. Looks great actually. So this part here would plug into your amp. This part here goes there. And then you put this underneath the strings. So let's try this out. Let's put this underneath the strings of my guitar and then let's give it a try. Okay, so here we are with my guitar. I've loosened the strings a lot. You really have to loosen them a lot. I'd probably just recommend that you change your strings and do this when you change your strings, but I didn't. So you just have to pop it underneath here and there and there. This, like I said, this is probably be easier. So it's even looser. That pretty good. Right, pretty snug. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, it's like, it's pretty classy overall. It's not that noticeable. Um, it will be when we plug this cord in here, of course, because this will be hanging out. But that's not that bad. So um, I'll tighten up my strings and tune, and let's just see how if this affects the sound of the guitar. It shouldn't, because as you can see, it's behind the saddle. The saddle is the white part there, and it makes contact with the strings and transfers the sound into the soundboard. So let's just make sure that this is interfering with the sound, and then we're going to plug this into just my sound system here and and, um, and see what it comes out as. Here we are. I have the pickup um, installed under the strings here and so one of the things I'm interested in is like let's say you don't have two guitars I actually have another guitar that I use for playing gigs it has a built-in electronics I'm talking about gigs like cocktail parties where I have to be amplified and the built-in electronics is so convenient because it's like on off tuner you have all your adjustments everything so the disadvantage is that there's no adjustments here but at the same time what if you don't want to have two guitars or what if you're um, traveling or something like that. It doesn't really matter what the reason, but this is so simple. You can just put it on your pre-existing guitar and not have to have a second instrument like I do. Um, great thing about it is that the instrument sounds the same. I can't tell any difference. I, I really can't hear any difference between when this is in or when it was out. Um, maybe there's a little bit of energy loss because the angle of the strings is no longer at very steep angle, so maybe it's not pushing on the saddle as much. But I don't know, it's pretty minimal. Like, but you can really see, like, especially on the sixth sixth string, you can really see that like the, it's no longer a very steep angle. So maybe that changes the energy transfer into the saddle a little bit, but like not I can't tell the difference. I can't tell. Sounds fine. totally normal to me so that's a huge advantage this is like a teaching guitar that I use so I, I just teach my students on this one I don't use my expensive instrument 
Um, and I'd be willing to keep this in there and use this as a gig guitar if it sounds good. And of course, that's the next step. Now, what I was going to say too, though, on my gig guitar which has electronics built in, but you could just get like a box, a preamp box for this that would go on your music stand or something. And they have like tuner buttons and mute buttons and adjustments right there. So you could still have all your adjustments right there. They even make like clip on ones that go into your belt so you could just adjust it there. Um, so if you were to use this, I'd probably recommend that, but maybe not. If you have a good enough amp, just plug it into the amp and adjust everything on there. And really, I mean like for gigs, if you have to be quiet, just don't make sound. Um, but let's try this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm first just going to plug this into um, my USB kind of interface here, just so you can hear the raw sound from this right into my computer. And I'll do it without and with reverb, just so you can hear kind of what it would sound like with, with some amp reverb. Okay, so here we are, and we're trying out um, the pickup now with this guitar amp. Now, this isn't an acoustic guitar amp, so it's not ideal. But my acoustic guitar amp is actually dead right now. So we're using this, but on first glance, I'm very, very impressed with the sound. I've got it cranked up quite a bit here. Let me just turn away from these mics so you can hear primarily the amp. Um, we're going through so many microphones now. We've got like this and this and these microphones in front of me. It's too many microphones, so I mean that's why I wanted to plug it into the um, the processor so you could just hear the raw sound. But let me just tell you this because I think this is too complicated to get a good accurate reading of the sound. I think it sounds great. It's it's really balanced. Let me just turn that up a little bit. sounds just as good if not better than the under under the saddle piezo pickup from my other guitar um, the lack of like volume adjustments and stuff is a bit of an issue but like I said you could get a preamp box for on your music stand or something like that that's just a box that goes between this chord and the chord that goes to the to the amp so that might be a good idea for gigs the cool thing though is like I don't hear any feedback at all And usually you would want the amp in front of you. Um, I'll crank it up more. Nothing, it's really great. Yeah. Sounds very natural, um, pretty bright overall, um, but that's normal. And I think that you can dial the, back the treble on your amp and stuff like that. But better too bright than not bright enough because clarity is a real issue when you're playing gigs. Once you get over to people like talking and, you know, having cocktails and stuff like that, um, the classical guitar just dies away and any kind of like low mid-tone sound just gets muddy, muddy, muddy. So this is pretty clear. I'm pretty impressed. 
Not without sweetness though. I think it sounds a really, really great. I'm super impressed. Um, I might even sell my gig guitar and just use this because I have too many guitars and not enough space in my little room here for them. Um, I'm really impressed for the price. I think it's fantastic. Um, that's all I can say. I think it's so cool. It's so minimal. This doesn't create much sound. I mean, it does create sound, but I don't hear it when I'm playing. It doesn't bother me where, it, where it's hanging down there. I think everything about it is um, exactly what I would want out of a, out of a, like a little um, add-on to your instrument. Onto your gig instrument, right? Onto maybe not onto your concert instrument. Although even for a concert instrument, this wouldn't damage it and it wouldn't interfere with the natural sound. You could leave it in for extended periods of time. You probably want to take it out if you're not using it um, and you're playing like a big concert. But otherwise, just leave it in and you can unplug it. Just turn your amp off and there, you're back to normal guitar. So I'm super impressed with the product. I've actually seen it before. Um, some of my students have it and other guitarists have it. So I was already impressed before the review. So I was lying a little bit, but, but nevertheless, I did want to like try it out myself and just make sure that this was a good product. And I think it's, I think it's a really awesome product. So I have a link for it under the video. So just make sure you check that out.